Hi, welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today, considering that the world is in alert because of the coronavirus, I think it's important to stay informed and to keep practicing our English. So I found a great page. I'm going to show you. This is the page Worldometers. In general, it has information about population, but what I want to show you is about the coronavirus here in this section. There are, there's a number of ways in which you can use this uh, page besides uh, being informed about coronavirus. But I'm going to show you the information it gives us. It gives us the number of cases, deaths, recovered patients, and more detailed information about active cases, closed cases, and some graphs um, of the, uh, the current situation, uh, in addition to lots more of statistics that you can enter here. Besides, it gives us information about the symptoms, the incubation period, the mortality rate, and the condition of all of the people who died and the numbers by country. How can you use this for practicing your English? In many interesting ways. First off, there are lots of numbers here. I you know that, I don't know where I heard or read that when you can count in your target language, it means that you can master it. So practicing numbers is something that we don't do very often and it's very important um, for our English and especially for international exams. For example, in the total number of cases, we can practice reading big numbers, right? Like for, for example, 179,880. The same with the dates, with the recovered. So you can practice reading out loud you can practice writing because typing the numbers is a different thing, um, the percentage, and not to mention the cases, the, the graphs. Not to mention the graphs. The graphs are very, very useful for, um, for the IELTS exam. For the IELTS exam, they will be uh, super useful because you always get this kind of graph so you can, uh, in your own words, Try to explain what you see in the graph. What are the things that, that, that call your attention the most? Because that is what they ask for in the exam. Uh, then uh, you can also enter uh, to, for example, the symptoms. They give us the information that we should know. And it's very simple. It's very direct. Uh, and there are details about each part that you are interested in. You can also check. Uh, th this information that I showed you before about the numbers by country. For example, uh, here we have the coronavirus, uh, the total cases. This is also interesting for IELTS that you sometimes get like tables like this, and you need to give the most essential information only. Like what calls your attention, really? You no, know, the the countries that have the most cases, the countries that have the least cases, and then we can enter to um, one country, for example, the USA. You can also learn about the countries in English, the United States, for example. It gives us the same information, the cases, the deaths, the recovered patients, the active cases, the closed cases. So we also learn um, these terms, these epidemiological terms. One more thing that this is very interesting information, very reliable information, and a, a great, great, great thing is that you can access the, to this information in different languages. So it's not just for you who speak English or who are learning English, but you can also share with your family, friends, in the language that they understand. So I'll leave you with this. Stay safe, please. Um, cover. Cover, cover your mouth and nose if you sneeze or cough. Stay home, stay safe, wash your hands, and don't panic. Please don't panic, we'll get through this. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay informed and to see you soon.